All right, I was loosening the swill with my garden fork, and uh, I went ahead and I loosened that area too, that other raised bed that I had done. So, garden fork, loosen it up. So you can you can tell how you know I've, I've got these. I'm I'm extending, you know, the raised beds that I already had here. So I'm extending them down at least another five or six feet. I haven't measured it yet, but um, and I got those two rows over there have started. And I've got the uh, bucket here. I uh, started to go ahead and and just grab, you know. When you, when you loosen the soil like this, it's so much easier to just come in and, you know, you just kind of grab things from the top and, you know, see, it kind of pulls things up by the roots. And, I mean, it's, it's much easier. You can shake the dirt off and throw it in the bucket. Some things are deeper, like, like these things. Just shake the dirt off. I'll just throw those out in the, out in the field out there. And of course you will come up with a lot of worms too. But I just, you know, it's so easy. I can just do it with one hand, throw it in there. And, uh, you know, I just, I just leave it loose. Uh, I'm not gonna walk on it. I'm not gonna compact it in any way. I'm just gonna, you know, keep loosening the soil as I go along, you know, and I'm pulling things up by the roots. It helps. See that? You know, even if it has a ball of dirt on there, that's okay. Just throw it in the bucket because that, that's going, all going to end up in the compost pile anyway. And anything that's growing in the compost pile, once when I turn it, it will, you know, be buried under the dirt and start composting again. You know, so hopefully I'll be able to, you know, get everything up by the roots. You know, some of these bigger roots I'll probably just pitch out the field. But you can see, you know, it goes pretty quickly. Like right here, for example. You know, just kind of grab things and grab and go. So, yeah, it's got a little dirt on it, that's okay. Just put it in the bucket, and that bucket gets dumped in the compost pile. So, and you can, you know, shake some of it off. But I, uh, it's pretty easy going once you, once you take that fork and you loosen the soil. You know, except for right around the edges, you know, because it's still hanging into that compacted soil. But, uh, just work at it a little bit. And, uh, you'll be able to get it out. And it, it's really good exercise because you're stooping and bending and, you know, pulling. And, uh, you know, just uh, keeps you busy. It's better than sitting in the house watching TV, that's for sure. And, uh, you know, you're going to find a bunch of rocks. I just leave the rocks there. A bunch of worms. Just leave the worms. They'll dig back down in the dirt. When you have worms in your dirt, it's good stuff. Because the worms eat and poop and eat and poop and eat and poop. And there are people that pay good money for worm poop. So leave your worms in your gardens. All right. Look at that. This is going pretty quickly. Of course, this is just the top stuff, and it is coming up by the roots. A lot of people don't believe that, but it is. It's all coming up by the roots. And the bigger, tougher roots, I'll be able to get out after getting the easy stuff out. Because I'll be able to take that fork and stick it down there, loosen it more, and lift the big roots right out. Uh, so... I'm going to do that to that bed there, all the way from there, all the way to here, and then this one all the way from here, all the way to there, and then these two rows, 
really don't have much to do. I'm just going to turn the dirt on these. If I find any any uh, roots in there, I'll get those out. I'm not going to worry about the paths. You know, the paths are going to be walked on a lot. Anything growing in there, I'll just take a hoe and, you know, hoe in the paths to keep things cut down. And uh, later, as plants are growing, I'll be mulching around them, you know, in order to, you know, to help, you know, keep keep the weeds down and also help keep moisture in the dirt and all the good stuff. I'm just going to keep working on this and uh, hopefully I'll have a, you know, a, a couple of nice garden beds ready to seed and uh, and uh, a few rows to put something in. I might even get two more of these done today. Who knows, I might get several of them done depending on how the day goes. It's nice and overcast. It's not too hot. I think it's around 62 degrees out here today. Uh, I'm going to get as much done today as I can. If I can get these to a point to where I can go ahead and put the seeds in them, I will. Uh, if not, then, you know, I'll wait, you know, until, you know, the next day or so. But I'm, I'm definitely going to keep working at it. And, uh, but yeah, I mean, taking that, that garden fork there, standing up right here, loosening the soil makes it so much easier to get things up by the roots and get them out. So, I'll talk to you later. Wish me luck in my garden.